Friday, June 2, 2023, the General Assembly of the Ghana Institute of Journalism held their first sitting for the second semester of 2022-2023 academic year. Some General Assembly members and students who attended the sitting shared their views on it. My name is Nakai and I'm a representative of the Level 200 constituency. Well, to talk about today's um, GA meeting, it turned out very well because most of the issues that were raised were actually dealt with, they were critically dealt with. I am Pep Civil and then I represent the Level 300 weekend constituency. I'm one of the representatives. Yes, ahead of this uh, General Assembly meeting, I have concerns with some SRC executives and portfolios um, and the role they've played so far as the first semester was concerned. Um, particularly has to do with the role of the External Affairs Officer um, or External Affairs Commissioner. So when you look at Article 7, Section 10, clauses um, C, D, E, and F, tells us what his role with uh, nukes should be like. So I had three concerns on what he's been able to do so far as his role to nukes is concerned um, in the first semester. And there was this back and forth as to whether GIJ is still a member of nukes or not. So he had to come in to come and um, respond to it. And the main purpose for today's GA basically was to summon the Standard Affairs Commissioner the general secretary and then the organizing secretary to on an event that is um, circulating on social media without the knowledge of the general assembly, which is an upfront to the constitutional requirements. So that's why we brought them. So we've had, basically had a fair conversations. I've had answers to mine. So my constituents would also hear the response when issue was um you know for the SRC week and all that but unfortunately like the the meeting was rescheduled so I'm hoping to you know uh come the next GA meeting to actually you know have a say on my mind. Yeah. Actually I was on campus for a while and as a new student I got interested when I heard that there was going to be a general assembly meeting. So I heard that the general secretary and then the external affairs commissioner had brokered a deal on behalf of the SRC which the president was not aware of. And it pricked my interest because such an action would go down as an illegality. So I sought to visit the house as an observer, obviously, to try as much as possible to set the record straight. So yeah, and I think at the end of the day, the house took some good decisions. So I believe the General Assembly's decision to sanction the executives who disjointedly perpetrated this action, I think also for some good, good, good ambience of the law. Okay, I'm a poco bright the champion from level 100. And you know, I, will, I came here to observe how the GA meetings are held. And to my, um, if I want to say something about the GA, I think it went to an odd. Okay, so I'm Ransford Dogbo. Um, uh, representative of the level 200 constituency and then the chief whip of the 15th general assembly so today just like any other general assembly there was a sitting and then there was agenda for the day the main agenda was to discuss um, issues of constitutional breaches by certain executive officers that has to do with the external affairs commission the general secretary going ahead to plan certain events without the backing of the constitution so upon deliberations the house agreed that whatever they sought to do should be annulled and then ordered for some sanctions which would be determined by the disciplinary committee after the commission of inquiry are done with their work uh, i would use this opportunity to plead for all to support the cause of raising funds for a lecturer and then also pray for his well-being and survival. Long live Unimark GIG, long live GIG SRC, long live General Assembly. Thank you. I'm a student, a student from Unimark GIG who attended the GA meeting. 
to have um, a witness and then um, I had expectations, yes. My expectations, most importantly, to uh, to hear about Mr. Atares' issue and how the SRC or the students' body is making preparations towards it. And then I was glad to know that the SRC are making endless efforts to see that some or uh, to, to help raise some money to help. They are actually planning or organizing a match with students to solicit for funds from organizations, individuals. Nooks became a concern looking at it being the mother body of all institutions in Ghana and um, stirring the affairs of over 10 million students all over Ghana. As we felt it's a need for an importance that they come to a burst with the house with some of these information so that we do not uh, sit somewhere and think and assume that all things were equal. So myself, I raised concern about the relationship between the nukes and the gaps and the institution as of now, because as a professional institution, we have, uh, we have we need to have a standing according to our constitution with a block of under the nukes of which forms part of the, the five blocks that the nukes has, the USAG, the GAVS, the GNMTA, the GRASAG, and as well as the TAG. So we being children of these uh, blocks, we also need to know what our institution is doing in in reference to helping or contributing to the national uh, national body of student representation.